Introduction to Corrosion Inhibitors for Oil and Gas Pipelines Introduction to Corrosion Inhibitors for Oil and Gas Pipelines Corrosion is one of the most significant challenges that the oil and gas industry faces when it comes to pipeline infrastructure. Corrosion in pipelines can lead to leaks or ruptures, which can cause significant damage to the environment and the people living in the area. In addition to the environmental and safety concerns, corrosion can lead to high replacement and maintenance costs for pipeline. Knee operators. To address this issue, oil and gas companies have turned to the use of various corrosion inhibitors, which can help to reduce the rate of corrosion and extend the useful lifespan of PIP. Alines. In this article, we will introduce corrosion inhibitors for oil and gas pipelines, what they are, how they work, and their various types. We will also explore the connection between corrosion and HIBI. Tours and the Management of Corrosion in Oil and Gas Pipelines What are corrosion inhibitors? Corrosion inhibitors are chemical compounds that are used to reduce the rate of corrosion in metals. These compounds work by either forming a protective film or reacting with the metal surface to pro. Duce a passive layer. The protective film or passive layer acts as a barrier between the metal and the surrounding environment, preventing any further corrosion. Corrosion inhibitors can be classified into different categories depending on their chemical composition and mode of action. Some inhibitors form a barrier that physically shields the metal surface, while others work by altering the electrochemical properties of the metal surface. Corrosion inhibitors are commonly used in the oil and gas industry due to the corrosive nature of the substances that flow through the pipelines. The inhibitors help to protect the pipelines from the damaging effects of these substances and ensure a long lifespan for the pipelines. Types of Corrosion Inhibitors There are several types of corrosion inhibitors that are commonly used in the oil and gas industry, including 1. Organic Inhibitors Organic inhibitors are compounds that contain nitrogen, oxygen, or sulfur atoms. These inhibitors work by adsorbing onto the metal surface and forming a protective film. The inhibitors' molecules ORI end themselves in a way that blocks the active sites where corrosion reactions occur. Organic inhibitors are often used in acidic environments, where they can react with the acidic molecules to form. A protective film. 2. Inorganic inhibitors. Inorganic inhibitors are compounds that do not contain carbon atoms. The most commonly used inorganic inhibitors are the anodic and cathodic inhibitors. Anodic inhibitors work by increasing the potent shell of the metal surface, while cathodic inhibitors work by decreasing the potential of the metal surface. Both types of inhibitors prevent corrosion by controlling the flow of electrons between the metal surface and the surrounding environment. 3. Mixed inhibitors Mixed inhibitors are compounds that contain both organic and inorganic elements. These inhibitors offer the benefits of both types, providing a stronger protective film on the metal surface. Mixed in Inhibitors are widely used in oil and gas pipelines due to their high effectiveness in controlling corrosion. Corrosion inhibitors and the management of corrosion in oil and gas pipelines. Corrosion management is a systematic approach used in the oil and gas industry to prevent, monitor, and mitigate corrosion damage in pipeline assets. This approach involves identifying and assessing corrosion risks, selecting appropriate corrosion management strategies, and implementing corrosion management plans. Corrosion inhibitors are one of the most widely used corrosion management strategies